Hey everyone, I'm going to show you this head I came across with when I was at Omega store. Uh, so this head is Utilizator Norme, it's called, it's for 500 Lindens. And I, I grabbed the demo and tried to look how it looks like and it's, it's Omega compatible. And this head, um, let me show you the contents. As you can see, I'm just wearing their shape for Freya um, Pleaser. I'm wearing the demo and the HUD. They're, they have no uh, eyebrow that comes with this head, also no eyes. Um, the HUD is symbol for it and they have also included on the marketplace another expandable like animation HUD so this is basically is the head I'm just gonna cam around it a little bit for you to see how it looks like and I noticed something when I was applying my hair base here that the tattoo didn't fully apply this area here has an issue there's like some alpha here I'm not able to see my my tattoo should be applied on this part or it's, it's the hair base is cut off at this area so the tattoo didn't apply very well so I'm, I'm just wearing some skin that I have from 7 Deadly Skins and just happened to be Omega so I tried to apply it with this head and see how it looks like also the hair is mirror mirror hair just wearing the rigid type hair so that's about what I'm wearing here just for the purpose of the demo not nothing more nothing less so, um, and this is the, the animation HUD I told you about. It's for 100 Lindens. You can just have more control for the eyebrows, left and left and right eye and mouth. So you have more control rather than the the basic head HUD that comes with it. It has some animation. This is the the head itself. As you can see, this is fully bento as well, and for 500 lindens, and you can just do whatever you like with. So I'm just wearing the shape that comes with the with the head, and I didn't really tweak anything in 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 the head. So going on to the the main HUD that comes with the head, let me show you. So the minimization you will minimize. If it's normally worn on the right hand side on your screen so if you want to show it you're just gonna click on show or hide you're gonna click on hide but anyway so you have this area to hide the nick part I don't know really what is it for like if there's a different body that comes with a longer neck shape here you can just hide the neck I'm not sure about this part also comes with a feature like Canva to hide the scalp. So there you go, the scalp is gone. Help you wear when you, while you wear it, the hair. This here, just gonna take off the hair base you have on. So if it's dimmed, means it's clicked. So the ears are dimmed, so they are shown. If you wanna hide the ear, just simply click on them. Also the tongue and the mouth, you can just click on these two to hide them. They are now present because I'm wearing them. Moving on to the makeup and tattoo, the eyelashes. As you can see, this is the middle one highlighted. If I just click on the other one, you will notice different shapes for the eyelashes. And you can turn them off or you have Omega applier. You want to apply it so you can just click on Omega and the eyebrows also you can control the eyebrows here in this HUD 
if you have a different eyebrows you want like to wear it's Omega compatible so you just simply gonna apply it no problem there I think my my skin comes with the eye eyebrows that I'm wearing so that's why I'm not able to clear them out simple animation and no control over these animation you don't have the ability to set the time for them or toggle between them as you wish so these are just simple animation here blink I don't see here blink now it's blinking when I clicked on the blink now I see the eye blink but you don't have the ability to control the speed of the blinking or just one blink at a time so also the talk when you open your mouth when you type on your on the local chat I think this talk is gonna be toggled enabled there you go so the tongue if I click on the tongue it's gonna hide the tongue teeth it's gonna hide so the clicked ones they are dimmed once you click them off they are going to appear another thing here when you click on options you will find the lashes mouth and lower and upper or the hair base these are the stuff you can clear out of the texture of the Omega layer so you can control if you want to clear um, let's say I have the hair base so I'm going to clear that and it's gone now I cleared the hair base let me reapply it just going to click on my applier here and I'm going to select hair base and there you go so this is the basic stuff in this head but I think it's worth it I mean it's just simple you can just wear it if you don't have the money to get an expensive head or there's no offers and you like to get a pinto head this this is might be an option for you I'm gonna close the mouth now because this is looking I have to change I cannot I have to I have to select one for the animation I cannot switch like on and off so this is another thing and I'm wearing the eyes that like I said doesn't come with the eyes so you have to find some eyes to go with let me switch off the I'm eyelashes because I don't like these looking kind of things they didn't they didn't res right or something so yeah three different sets of eyelashes I like this one the face is not so bad I mean with this shape I haven't tried to switch or edit the shape maybe the shape I'm wearing is not modifiable that's why let me find some other shape so I'm gonna try to edit the shape quickly I'm wearing the shape for another head by Katwa but the eyes didn't come out so well so I don't know why anyway so basically the head you can control head stretch head shape eggy head so head length face shear forehead angle you need to be from the side to notice this part brow size upper cheeks so lower cheeks most of these oh, sliders works so moving on to the eyes eye size I have to be careful with the eye size this is why the eyes look looked weird so eye opening you can control that 
spacing corners so inner eye corner eye depth upper eyelid fold eye bags puffy eyelids eyelashes length this is will not work eye pop also doesn't work ears you can control with the ear size ear angle nothing here so it's not gonna be an elf or anything like that attached earlobe nothing ear side ear tips oh this is the one here for the elf looking one or just no just normal ear but you have to play with the, the length of the ear tip so I'm just gonna shrink it a bit to customize the ear the, a little more the nose nose size can work nose width nostril width okay nostril division works nose thickness upper bridge and lower bridge bridge width nose tip angle nose tip shape and crooked nose so this works for for the head the mouth lip width works lip full fullness lip thickness also works lip ratio and mouth position mouth corner okay lip cleft depth works as well lip clifts and shift mouth so most of the sliders working so far nothing chin chin angle works jaw shape jaw shape works chin depth and jawing angles jaw juts okay and jewels no they don't work chin clifts I don't see it working upper chin clifts no uh, chin neck uh, these works all the stuff now this is how I covered most of the shapes I'm not gonna save anything I'm just gonna leave it on the shape that I'm wearing that I was showing you that Spinto you can edit it and I think the shape that comes with the, with the head works well also the shape here I'm wearing for the demo for another demo head by catwalk called Lily so this is how it looks like so I think I think you're just gonna lower the eye width so you can the, the eyes will look n much normal without leaving it her in this kind of thing if you're just gonna wear this shape you can just go to Catwa and grab the lily shape and the demo and just try to adjust the things you don't like but for now I think her looks looks okay and I'm just worried and concerned about the the cut for the hair base here and some some stuff here that I'm not aware why the hair base is not uh, applied well but I think so far this this is a nice looking promising head if they work on developing more stuff for it and make it um, 
more usable and add more feature to it. The eyes I'm wearing from Messenger, these were from from a hunt. So they are nice as well. These are very nice eyes. And you have the controls to wear the size and they have the Omega applier as well. If you are if you are wearing an Omega eyes that you need to apply these um looking eyes you can apply it from this HUD so this is also a neat feature that they allow you to apply their own appliers to different eyes that support some Omega so um, the neck size for this head matches the zero neck size and I did wear the sheath neck see you can cover it and I didn't try to tint as much as I can for I didn't try much hard to, to tint it to make it look exactly the same tone or anything I just picked the tone that nearly matches the skin but it's not 100% matches the skin but if you have uh, the full body you can just and it's Omega you can, you can get the skin from seven deadly skins and apply it. It's got both the head applier and the body applier but since I'm wearing the demo for Blizz and the demo for the head but the pin, the Pinto head is fully uh, Omega compatible, Omega ready so I had no problem uh, when I applied the skin. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for watching my channel and tuning into my channel watching my video. Thanks so much.